<laughs> oh, happy new year, folks. We are live, right? Yes, Holy moly. I, yeah. Wow. Um, we've had to switch computers. The, the rain is mucking up our internet. We've got, <laughs> we've got some weather related wow. issues happening. Um, so <laughs> thanks for hanging out. We'll, we'll talk for a minute and let people catch up to the fact that we're finally live uh, for our first show in 2024. Holy moly. Um, definitely going to need what's sitting in front of me here momentarily. And of course, even though it's 10 till 7, the dog has to go outside Ooh. because we just started this show. So if you are watching, we'll just we'll hang out a minute and let people catch, catch back up to us. <laughs> oh, shit, isn't it? oh, that is no lie. Um, so yeah, happy new year. <laughs> we're, we're, we're here. We're, we're, here. we're camera down. Um, and all of this in the last 20 minutes, we've decided completely to switch software that we were using because that is also part of our problem this evening. Um, and has been the last handful of times that we've had uh, glitches. It's always been kind of the same software issue. So yeah, so that's, that's a done, a done or a goner for 2024. Um, Yay, more money out of pocket. No, not necessarily. Just shifting. Sure. Canceling one subscription and starting another one. Mm -hmm. So same money, different place. Yeah. Holy moly. So I'm going to apologize right now for how tonight goes. Um, okay, so we do have a new theme. Mm -hmm. Did you just swat me in the butt with something? This. Oh, you're going to need that. I know. Yeah. That's why I had it up. Um, so 2024, and we'll explain this a couple of times tonight because I know folks are yeah, it kind of left us and might come back and might not come back this evening since we were so late getting started. But 2024 is all about um, eating locally, shopping locally. And mm -hmm. in each of the shows, we're going to showcase at least one um ingredient that's local to the southern illinois region or mm -hmm. in some cases especially where um, beverages are concerned maybe a little bit more tri-state area because it makes our life a little bit easier hey, Jen. Um, hey, Jen. Now. yay <laughs> you found us you found us Jeez, what a night waiting for us to <sighs> join in figure it out is what they're yeah. we're waiting on um so yeah we are focused entirely on local foods, local ingredients, um, shopping local. So not, not always eating, you know, straight farm to fork, but, um, patronizing our local grocers or our regional grocers as opposed to the big box places and, and mm -hmm. some other things we'll talk about as we get going. So, um, so speaking of which, okay, this is not, well, I might drink that, but that's really to cook with. Um, so we're, we're booze. Let's just go there. <laughs> Just you go. <laughs> and nice. You need ice. Nice. So and, the ice um, tonight is coming from, from the fridge. We also need to show fridge. show off the new t-shirts before right. I put my apron on. Oh, well, I can't pull mine down. No. Um, so, well, I was standing there long enough. Um, so I had my friend VJ over at Shoyle Printing and Murphy Sproul. Thank you, Chile, for that. God, some things never change, right? Um, quit. <laughs> do some local foodie t-shirts for us and on the back you can show off your back though he left the s off is that yeah mine mine has a boo-boo on it but oh. the rooted in foods logo and website and in about a month we'll have some of these for sale for those you know friends and family who want them yeah. so um but big shout out there so we don't just you know do our, our food shopping locally we do a lot of things locally yep. because those are the folks that buy ads in your festival programs and mm -hmm. the banners at little league yep and sponsor little league teams and, and all sorts of community oh, stuff yeah. so donate the more stuff. you spend with them the more able they are to do those kinds of things so now i'm going to put on my not local apron um i don't know if this one was local or not no that is not local it's but not local. but i do print a lot of those locally too when i design them anyway mm -hmm. uh yeah booze me up baby booze because woo oh, ice ice all right, so we are having Sal bring in the local, the local cola out of St. Louis. Breeze. Breeze. Breeze, Breeze Illinois. It's, 
it's a uh, it's a cola. That's all it is. It's a cola. It is. Um, we are adding to that tonight some liqueur. Liqueur. That's yeah. a good word for it. It's moonshine, folks. Moonshine <laughs> from MB Roland, which is a distillery out of Kentucky. Of Kentucky. It is right on the border of Kentucky and Tennessee, near the military base down there. I can't think of which one it is off the top of my head. Now, see, if you hadn't said that, I could have told you. Somebody would tell us. In the big military base down there in Kentucky and Tennessee. So we're going to add. Say Clarksville. Yeah, it's yes, near Clarksville. One ounce. This is cherry moonshine. Black cherry Black moonshine. Black cherry moonshine. One ounce. And approximately four ounces. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Four. Yeah, it's about four ounces each. This is a 12 ounce bottle. This is about a 10 ounce bottle. Mm -hmm. There we go. You have my straw. My, my stir stick. Oh, yes. I only do your mm -hmm. stir. So the deal with Lucky Club and Ski and some of the others that come out at Cell Bottle Company, they're, they're a little vintage in the recipes. Um, and instead of fake sugar or um, High fructose corn syrup, corn syrup. Mm -hmm, they use cane sugar. So, so they taste better. <laughs> well, they taste like they used to. They taste like they used to. So they taste better, uh, in my opinion. So... Yeah. We're just using local products to make something that we drink a lot of. Yeah. Oh, here. Yeah, absolutely. Sure that Ooh. is it. And be rolling. Yeah, the light's kind of... Yeah, kind of washing everything out. Are we washed out really bad, or... Yeah. Yeah, you could, like, get it off a white and get, like, green or something. And maybe move it around a little bit. Oh, I'm man, that's... It. Yeah. Well, I'm drinking. <laughs> I might slug it. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. I could use some more. I was going to say you might want to put some more in the back. really good, though. Mm -hmm. The vodka cherry? Yeah. How about it? I'll let you put more in mine, too. We're going to add another ounce. Because <laughs> it's Monday. It is. <laughs> and I've got a new Tuesday coming up. Woo! So, local soda, local moonshine. Yep. Is that local right? ice. Oh, yeah. Right out of the lake. Yeah, there you go. Better? Much. All right. It's stronger. There we go. Woo! So, yay. The dark cherry moonshine is 45 proof. You want a kick? They do offer a St. Almost Fire, which is a cinnamon based. That stuff's good too. It really packs a punch. It's 100 proof. That's just really good. The flavor in there. Fort the Campbell, flavor. yeah, Fort Campbell. Thank you. Yeah. Goodness. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> um, so tonight we're going to make um, chicken in a creamy mushroom wine sauce. It is good. Mm -hmm. um, flavored moonshines, like all the flavors, are some mm -hmm. of my favorites. So yeah, we will see a few of those this in the next month or so. Tonight. Um, it's okay. My, my words. Anyway, so. We're doing pan seared chicken, um, thin breast, not not quite cutlet stage. Oh, thank you. Uh, he's messing with the light with a creamy um, mushroom sauce with some local white wine, local mushrooms, and we'll talk about those here in a bit. We are down a camera back here, so we're going to kind of do things close to the stove so you can see everything. Um, first thing I'm going to do though is get chicken going. We're also kind of in this phase that we need to start cleaning out freezers. So instead of buying boneless, skinless chicken breasts, I had some bone in skin on in the freezer. So I'm going to show you how oh, to, yeah, yeah. Uh, show you how to deal with those here in a minute. But right now I'm going to get some butter and olive oil melting and heating up in the pan. <laughs> um, so let us know what you guys are eating tonight. Yep. How you spent the 20 minutes you were waiting on our sorry bus to get started. Yeah, almost 30 minutes. Oh, well. Yep, it's been a doozy of a day. 
So I don't want to change the night though. I like Monday nights. Oh yeah, well it's Monday nights are fine. It's just when we have technical issues. Yeah. Right at six o'clock and we're um all the way up till the things that worked point. earlier today, by the way, yeah. didn't work tonight. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, so the focus this year is on local. So hopefully, if you live here or live close oh, yeah. to us, we'll uh, hey. Just having beef and broccoli, yes. stir fry. That oh, sounds that sounds good. good. Um, hopefully, we will um, encourage you, maybe inspire you a little bit. Get okay. some local stuff. All right, so hit up the farmers market. Yeah, or your local. Uh, locally owned, you know, especially grocery stores. I shop in those a lot too. So, so we're going to ship you back over there. Yeah. So hopefully you can see this well enough, but um, skin on bone. Do you want, I can leave the skin on if you want. Uh, it's, it's chicken. It's not going to hurt me either way. Okay. You make, oh, Grandma Debbie's having a food casserole. Hey, what's up, Gallagher? We're kind, hey, of, doing, Ryan. We're kind of doing uh, chicken fingers just without. Kind of, just not breaded. Just not breaded. With mushroom sauce. With a mushroom sauce. So this might be right up your alley. We're going to show you how to do it at home. You could bread them, though, if you wanted to. Yeah. This is right up you with you. All right. So skin is off. All right. Yeah, you could leave this skin on. Too, don't you? Yeah. Don't you? Um, we'll let me turn this down because it's it. popping on me. I don't All right. We don't want that. Well, too close to it. We've got it on low now. That's fine. Low heat. I also don't want the butter to brown. All um, right. Blame me at all. Um, I'm going to go to cocktail number two here very shortly. All righty. All right. I'm cutting some of this. Actually, you know what? Screw that. Bring it up. The scissors to cut some of that off. Scissors are my best friend. Okay. Yep. Your, your mom says that her technical skills would have saved us tonight. Sorry, did I just snort giggle? I think you might. All right. I to hold it. Um, <laughs> oh, tuna hot dish tater tot topper. Oh, hello. I want some of that. Um, okay, boning knife. We're never going to get through the night because we're going to keep talking. Boning knife and just start as close to the bone as you can get. Wiggle the point of the knife in there or you can use the peel of the knife, which is usually what I do. Might be more so why not? Well, if you run out of that, we just use regular Coke, but that would also be good with the cream soda. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're, we're going strong with what we got. And you know what? I might just start drinking it straight. You never know. It's not nice. It is just 45 proof. It is just 45 proof. It's not the 100. I don't know how that's just 100 proof out of that St. Elmo's. After you drink it last Man. Time. All right, there's the one. cinnamon and cayenne. I lost a little bit of the tenderloin right there, but we're not uh -oh. going to cry about it. All right, I am going to butterfly these, so they cook a little bit faster. So this is a reminder. Mm. Palm flat down. And we're going to slice these in half. And just kind of work your way slowly. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Is, All right. Oh, is it a tater tot topper or chips? Um, I don't know. All right, so there's one. I think for you to call it a hot dish, it's got to have to be tater tot topper. Oh, yeah, hot dish is definitely tater tot. All right, next one. It goes pretty quick if you, you know, don't talk all the way through it like I am. You paying attention, Ron? So, yeah, I have these in the freezer, so instead of buying... You know, chicken that I really didn't need. And we just are using this. Taking the skins off. Yeah. Now you could leave the skin on if you're not breading it, and we're not breading it, but for the sake of showing you how to do this. <laughs> Please don't tell me that was a computer. It was, but okay. it's, it's it's just asking stupid things. Yeah, I hear you. It's being a computer. Okay. I'm gonna start on the inside which is a little bit backwards, but it's easier for me to see what I'm doing that way. You're deboning? Yeah, keep your fingers out of the way, but you're going to need your fingers to kind of pull the meat back to get to to see that bone so you know how far in to cut. And just you're, all you're doing is running your knife along the, basically the rib cage here. Yeah. And if you lose a little bit of meat, don't worry about it. 
Um, save these for chicken stock. Don't pitch them, especially if you did lose a little bit of meat. You'll get a good quarter chicken stock out of it, maybe a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna butterfly this little guy. Well, it's a good thing I didn't grab all of that bowl and just emptied it into the trash. That is what you're telling me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'd have gotten smacked with a hot pan. No, I wouldn't have done that on TV. Okay. Or on, you know. On air. All right. Now, I'm not going to pound these. These are plenty thin, especially like right through there. You can kind of press down on them if you want to. All right, I'm going to get rid of my knife and this. Look at that bad boy. Mm -hmm. And then there's some thin old chicken boobies. They are. And one of my gloves. Because now we're going to season. Can season. we open that? No, it's very different. You know what time? No, the time is time, time. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna use farms. Uh, we'll use another local. Um, mm. farm dust comes from our Amish markets. Oh. Four dollars and sixty cents too. For that big old thing, and this one's a no salt seasoning. <gasps> How, however, there's plenty of salt in the other parts of this, so we're not going to. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're not gonna miss the salt. I might still miss it. Season liberally. Pat them boobies. Boobies. Chicken boobies. We decided a week or so ago yeah. that boobies was a fun word to say. It is. I figured that out many, many, many years ago. <laughs> many years ago. Yes. All right. Down they go. I just finally was able to convince her that it is. You have to convince me much. Nope. I had a father that liked oh movies too. Now I realize what I did. I got the that's way up high. That's oh. okay. Oh, I'll leave it up high tonight because we need to go yeah. to see the what I'm doing. I okay. got, got the overhead shot really going high. I'm like, why is it showing the clock? All right. Why. So all the chicken gut stuff in the sink now. Where it belongs. Where it belongs. All right. So now we're going to work on some potatoes while this is frying. Potatoes, you're going to have to move over to the left. I, I will. In the same time, we're going to stick those suckers in the air fryer. We're going to dirty in the pan so this. My husband wonders why I have so many whisks and tongs and pair of scissors. I don't. I know. That's why. I know. I don't know, Daddy. Sure. And you don't want to cross contaminate, so when you have, you know, some with chicken guts on them, don't use them for your potatoes. All right. You need like six pair at least. Three. Three minimum. Three of everything, minimum. Six. <laughs> six is what you gotta have. Okay, you lose. Scissors, six. Knives of various shapes and sizes. All right. I'm gonna quarter these. They're little baby reds, but to make them cook faster, we're going to cut them smaller. You want, I need to get the AP seasoning out. Uh, season that's what you want on them. I think that's what I want on them. Okay. In here too much? Mm, nope. Um, check with a stack of them, stack of seasonings over there. In the, down on the floor by this. Oh, is there? I had to move things around. Ooh. Ooh that bag already bag. smells good. So, for those of you who are catching us for the first time, maybe, or the first time in a long time, um, Julie and I actually just cook dinner on Monday nights and go live so we can show you how easy it is to make dinner from scratch, mostly from scratch. Uh, now, with local ingredients, of course. Um, so, we're doing what I would normally do. Yeah, we're just doing it live. We're just doing it for you guys. All right, season the baby. And then cost them puppies up. More? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. More. More season. So, SPG, salt, black pepper, garlic. This is just buy a container of it. This is save your Pete Riles, everyday rub, authentic everyday rub. Oh, look at these babies. Mm -hmm. 
What's up, Harley? Um, I don't know if Keeper Owls is available at this stand. I know it's available at uh, Academy Sport. It is at Academy. It's at Royal King. Royal um, King, yeah. Sam's, however, has Kinder's version. Yep, yeah, Kinder's version. And it's heavier on the garlic than it is on the salt. This is heavier on the salt. I like them both. All right, so as soon as that's heated up, we'll throw these in. It won't be too long. I'm going to finish these on... Um, I flipped them while we were talking. I'm going to finish them not quite totally done. They'll finish up in the sauce. Oh, maybe. Okay. Oh, 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 Maybe don't use that one. Um, use a less salty version, but right, these are going in the air fryer. Uh, I don't know, 15 minutes, give or take. They'll be good and crispy. This is a pretty quick meal too, especially when you don't do all the breading and stuff. So we don't want these like totally done. because we'll finish them in the sauce. I am going to let them go a little bit longer, though. What are they at? 120? 125, yeah. Okay, we're going to save our bowls, though, so we can have to get back in it. Yeah. yeah, those are all going back down to the downstairs pantry. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> How are you going to make this mushroom sauce? All right, so here's the deal with the mushroom sauce. Anytime you pan fry any kind of meat or, I don't know, tofu, anything like that, any kind of protein that you're working with, okay, thank you. Um, you can create a pan sauce once you fry or cook the meat, sear the meat. Um, well, I know, but I didn't want to just away. So we're going to remove the chicken when it gets really close to done, but not quite. Um, a little bit more fat, so a little bit more butter in this case, but olive oil, bacon grease, whatever you got, lard. Um, and we're going to saute our mushrooms. He just ate a mushroom. Does my face look soft? Because it feels soft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then I'll kind of walk you through how to create the pan sauce. So we're going to add mushrooms and artichokes to this, white wine. Uh, chicken stock, a little bit of a mushroom base that I've got to go with, um, and I don't even know what I left out there, so we'll talk about that. These are local from Flyway Family Farm, which is in McKenna, Illinois. Um, these are golden oyster mushrooms, and they are gorgeous. How do they taste? Like fungus? Like mushrooms? Yeah, he's not a mushroom guy. Uh, he is a chicken and potato guy, though, so. That's why the smallest one I could find. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, I might cut some of these, like these great big ones all pull apart here, but these are beautiful. Uh, probably won't use all of them tonight. The wine, which I'll let you oh, open. He's, he's to, he's okay, you talked about wiener's dogs and Lucy. I'm using that. I'm just wine. Okay, like one of them. No, it doesn't. They do not taste like grocery store mushrooms, so. No, They're not button mushrooms in the grocery store. I didn't say that. Um, very bright and very earthy. And the earthy kind of hits you back here. They're really bright. They are bright. Yeah. That needs to get through them again. Uh, right, where's your... Over there with the other stuff. Hang on, let me check these before I lose them completely. Pull one off the heat there. Um, so yeah. Anyway, Flyway Family Farm has a variety of different mushrooms. I picked these because of their color. They're gorgeous. They're pretty. He won't have stuff on his, or I'll have to like keep around the mushrooms. It's all good. Oh, I'll eat it. Can you make it? I'll eat it. Aw, listen to that. You hear that, Jennifer? All right, so 
good sign, two great big ones. Um, I'll probably cut that. Thank you. What about Wiener Dog? Wiener Dog White is my favorite. My favorite white wine from Alpha Vineyards and Alpha Pass. Because, because of the dog. Because of Lucy. All because of the dog. All the dog. So, um, right. Gallagher, I'm definitely sucking up. If I happy white. Up. Oh, that's it. Happy freaking New Year. Ooh, New Year. <laughs> anyway, it's yes, it's for because of the dog label. There's a couple mm -hmm. dog labels. Only because of the. Um, Wait, but was such a sweet little thing. Um. Anyway, this is a semi-sweet, so it is the it it is worked really well in here. If you're not using something local, um, Chardonnay would probably be the the best route to go for something like this. Yes, hello, honey. Sorry. Right. Um, how's your cocktail going? Doing great. All right, I'm gonna pull these and keep them warm. Um, the kid and I will split one of these. Chili will probably eat a whole one. Uh, they smell that farm dust. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Okay, I'm going to stick these in the oven just to keep them warm. All right, I'm going to add. Just pop me off. Yeah. All right, a little bit more butter. And this is salted butter, by the way. So I'll probably back off on the salt later. A little more ice, a couple ice cubes. Please. All right. <laughs> We're doing great tonight. I'm also going to add some garlic <laughs> to this, um, to the butter. I've got two great big cloves of garlic. Add as little or as much as you want. <laughs> Trying to clean up a mess here. So even when things go wonky, you can still enjoy enjoy and cook dinner. And have fun. Oh, man. Knowing that you're going to switch platforms later. All right, there's one little bit of garlic. One garlic in the pan. Alright, I'll mess with this later. Ooh, it squirt. Oh, I can smell garlic over mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. it smells smells so good. So good. Unbalanced. Here's your shrimp. Thank you. Here's All your right. Phil. I think it's three three or four great big ones I'm gonna pull out of here. Thank you. Welcome. The rest of these I'm gonna put in. Cheers, Gallagher. Thank hot. you for stopping by. Say hi to us. See you, Ronnie. Stems and all. You don't have to use the stems if you don't want to. They don't bother me. Um, if you don't use them. Use them. Just use them. Just use them. I've got my gloves over here in my trash bin, but all of this is organic waste. And guess what it's going to go into? Mm, the trash? Mm-mm. Stock. Oh. Okay. So the mushroom stems, stock. The garlic bits stock all right in with the chicken when I fix it after a while. Oh, for your uh, chicken stock? Yeah, for my chicken stock. Yeah, just, I mean, even if you only get a quarter or so of stock, that's enough to make soup okay. another time. Hey guys, can you see what the, the insides of that bowl or is it all washed out because of, well, that's nothing in it right now? But. Right. That's Uh, here, there. Okay, these will not take long. So, to that, I need my white one, please. Oh, there you go. One yeah. Alto Vineyards Weird Dog White. I'm going to do about a quarter cup ish, and then we're going to drink some of that later. Yeah, where's your uh, wine stopper? Over there. Everything's over there. I'm pointing. Okay. Where all the other wine stuff was. Right. Wine lets you deglaze the pan. So make sure you pull up all the little. I got a stopper. Do I have a uh, 
It's the same place. I don't think so. Oh, Chili Davis. You're killing me. There's your top, baby. <laughs> so instead of building a roux, we're going to build a slurry. Okay. You slurry. Uh, with some cornstarch. Oh, so that was a quarter cup. I've got a cup of chicken stock here that we're going to add. We want at least a tablespoon per cup of liquid, a tablespoon of cornstarch. A little bit less if you want a little bit thinner. A tablespoon gives you, a tablespoon per cup gives you like milk gravy consistency. So I'm using a tablespoon for about a cup and a half, what I'll end up with in the end. Sugar has found something on the floor. Look at that ice cube. Okay. All right, while those are cooking down the rest of the way, I'm going to... She forgets that she doesn't like ice cubes, but it's on the floor and she thinks she can have she it. She thinks she likes them. Yeah. Go on. All right, those are done. I think. Oh, that's not she, so good. She didn't get it out before I grab her and throw it in the sink. All right, I'm going to pull these to the side a bit. Okay. Drop that in. My artichokes are going to go in at the very end. Hearts or all of them? Uh, hearts, oh. just because I had some and I think it would be delicious. The other thing that Flyway Family Farm has is dried shrimp. I didn't see that. Here, 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 hold that. This is dried mushrooms? Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's a chef's mix. Mm -hmm. That's all dried mushrooms. Huh? So we're adding a teaspoon of dried thyme. We're going to add some dried mushrooms. Okay. Been open for you. Not much because we've already got mushrooms in here. Yeah, please. We don't spill it uh -oh. everywhere. It's all over the place. That's no, okay. Let's say a good teaspoon. We'll clean up that mess later. Just feed it to the belt. All right. I don't know if you can start seeing what's going on here, but this is starting I to get. Know. It looks like gravy to me. Yeah, it's starting to get thick. So we're going to add our milk or cream. Or evaporated milk, but cream and evaporated milk will thicken as it cooks. Mm -hmm. So be mindful of that. Milk and half and half, not so much. Milk, definitely not. Half and half, not really. So we're going from a brown to a cream. Light, light tan. Mm -hmm. Color. Okay. Uh, quarter cup ish. Okay. I'm trying to give you measurements so I can remember them later. All right, choose these first a little bit. I'm put the milk away. Put the milk away. Because, guess what we're going to do? I'm not sure. I'm going to put that chicken back in so it's finish cooking. While we check on our potatoes, potatoes we got no time on them. Because I think they're done. Oh, yep, they do look good. Did you hand me that lid right up there? This one? Yeah, the big one. Oh, okay. yeah. All right, these were at like 145, so it won't take them long to get to 160, 165. Mm -hmm. And you're okay in between, you know, 160, 165. Um, USDA says 165, but yes, you're 165. Jennifer. Hmm. Jennifer's putting herself down. Uh, I know. Uh, oh, those are perfect. Here, we'll go back here. Okay, now I'm going to find something to scoop taters out with. And I'm putting them right back in the olive oil bowl because they're potatoes. They're not going to. Yeah, they're going to do just fine. We want to leave them all seasoned and nice and delicious. And, and I'll probably toss them Like me, nice and delicious. It's kind of called, certainly seasoned. <laughs> well, yeah, definitely well seasoned. Um, because the heat will kind of melt whatever oil is left in the it's, bottom of the bowl. It's like my uh, apron? Yeah. I don't know. Did I get, when did I get this apron? 
What was your Halloween apron? This is my Halloween apron. I only smoke the good stuff. I like being outside in the smoker. And my girlfriends and I were chickens for Halloween. Uh -huh. So oh. they're hot, chilly. Right, right off. <laughs> That's a little warm. All right. Guess what? I didn't take long. It's a good thing that. All right. Purple plate coming at you. But you think that moonshine is not high proof or uh, caught on fire in my mouth. Wow. That was warm. That is so good. <laughs> it's too bad Ronnie Ron left because it's done. I'm done and I'm going to stick my artichoke hearts in. And literally, there's like four little hearts in here. So. It's enough for me to eat, and that's okay. It'll just be delicious. Mm -hmm. You gonna give me a couple shrooms or no? I'm gonna give you a couple shrooms, yes, to make it pretty. Man, the steam is just coming off that. I'm not gonna eat that that fast. No, gosh, no. No, 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 no. All right, here, oh, here, I'll show you guys. I mean, you can see that. Mm -hmm. You might have to turn the light up. Yeah, I think it's just this, this monitor is watching. Might be a monitor. It is a little bit bigger. Wow, mm -hmm. I just realized that everything's uh, beige. Brown, All right. Brown and white, go. beige. Let me turn this off now. Oh. No greens. No, no greens. Here. I've got Brussels sprouts in the fridge. I'll eat. Yeah. You're a meat tater back. All right, I'm going to plate mine. Okay. Also, I'm not going to bite right into it. No, I am, however, going to taste the sauce. We'll tell you how that is. Probably won't bite right into it until after we're off air. But... Yeah, I'm not biting into mine. Oh, it was too hot. Yeah, oh, yeah. Way too warm. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, was that loud? Not really. I've heard you louder. Mm. It's, it's delicious. Very good. They didn't even see me eat that. <laughs> no, but they heard what you said, turd. I, I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm such a nice person. You are. This, by the way, is like beautiful cream of mushroom soup, too. Okay. I thought cream of mushroom soup was like white. Only when you get it out of a can. Oh. Well, that was a pretty one. I'll stick that on top and take its picture later. Yeah, that's pretty. All, All right, right, folks. <laughs> it was that easy once we got it together. Once we got our shit I swear. Half of mine. <laughs> I just am doing this to take his picture. Can't say I blame you. Mm -hmm. I might sprinkle some parsley on top just to make it pretty. Or little green. Little green. Okay. So. Local. Oh, well, I'm going to cover it up. Um, yeah, everything. Well, almost everything. Uh, chicken came out of the freezer, grocery store. Mm -hmm. However, if you've got... Um, a way to get chickens locally. It's just chicken. I will tell you, locally raised here, if I bought it, then I'm not going to name names yet because I'll start buying meat in a little bit from some of these places. But there's three local places I can get um, chicken from, typically whole, so you have to kind of do the thing and, and cut it off the bone if you want to. It tastes so different than what you're going to get in the grocery store out oh, of the nice. package. Um, and if you got a girlfriend or a friend who has chickens that lay eggs and they stop laying eggs, guess what? They do. <laughs> yeah. Um, they get that. Unless you just love the hen. However, if you've got a girlfriend like we do who has chickens who lays eggs and you get eggs <laughs> from the farm, they taste better too. Mm -hmm. um, 
And there's a lot of reasons why that we won't go into tonight because there's going to be a lot of those kind of lessons this year. So, but yeah, um, local mushrooms, local wine, local soda, local moonshine, uh, at least local one ice. local, local ice, one local spice tonight. So yeah, support your folks. Support your local people. I'm a little warm now. And we're going to eat. We're gonna have yes. Dinner. It's cooled down quite a bit. Um, it's not speaking like loud nowadays. And here's the deal. We were 20 minutes late, and we're still down by 7.30. So, uh, so this comes together and pretty quick. Under an hour, for sure. We're good. A handful of basic skills in the kitchen, folks, and you, can, oh. you too, could cook dinner from scratch. That was cool. It won't be by the end of the night. It will be. It's easy. also not. It's, it's, a, it's not a yeah. 750. It's, it's a 375, but, you know. It, that and this. 25 proof. It's not going to hurt you. No. It's not going to hurt you. The soda is not going to hurt you anymore. Um, so yeah, there you go. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Thanks for waiting on it. It's holy moly. Um, we will be back next Monday. With something else local. With something else local and this is something else um, on the back end running the show too. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take some photos and we'll get recipes. Mm -hmm. I'll probably be a, a week or so behind getting recipes out this year, but we're going to get her done. Yep. And uh, come see us this Friday at the Elks. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. If you live around here close to us, Carbonell Elks Lodge Friday night. Mm -hmm. um, doors open at 5, dinner at 7. And it is the final of our American Regional Cuisine Series. Mm -hmm. That was 2022. That was 2022's theme. Mm -hmm. We ran the meals all through the year at the Elks Lodge. And this is our last one. So it is uh, Taste of the Wild Caught West mm -hmm. with. Uh, salmon and chili, clams, medicine chili, medicine clam chili. Bucatini, mm -hmm. um, what else we got? Potatoes. Potatoes, of course. Of course, because it's Idaho. Um, and a steak. A steak oh, yeah, the steakhouse chopped chop salad, salad from. For, um, for $13. Yeah. yeah. Or two for 25 Two, yeah, two for 25 So, yeah, if you live around here, come see us. Yeah, we'll be there Monday night. We'll be our guest. Yeah. We'll be there. We'll be there Friday night. Friday night, yeah. Friday night. We'll be back here Monday night yeah. with something else fun and local so local. we will see you guys then have a great week yeah. <laughs> and i hope yours is off to a better start than our 6 30 yeah. was <laughs> so we'll see you when we see you see you guys <laughs>